Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you might be able to get a little more profit out of your LHR cards using the latest T-Rex Miner. Let's not waste any time and get right into this. So I'm over in the T-Rex Miner Discord and they have a beta release that just came out as a release of making this video. And they've added uh, another dual mining option. So dual mining has been around with T-Rex Miner, with the LHR cards, and they've incorporated another cryptocurrency into it. And this one is called Lathium. I think I'm saying that right. It's a newer one, at least to me. And so now you can dual mine. And what's good about this is the Ethereum can mine at about 68% of LHR unlock, which when you're just mining Ethereum, you're getting like, I think around 73%. So we're not losing much in Ethereum hash rate, but then we're able to mine ALF, Alephium, at 32% by default. So I gave it a whirl. I'll show you guys how it's doing, and you can decide for yourself if this is something you might want to do. Um, one note here is you see the only pools currently supported are Wooly Pooly and Hero Miners. So one of the things that you're probably wondering if this is not released yet by the time you're watching this video is how you get a beta version of T-Rex Miner if you're in Windows, pretty simple, just download it. If you're over in HiveOS, there's some instructions pinned in the test discussion here, and you can see uh, exactly how to do it. And I follow these instructions, no problem. It was up and running really, really fast. So enough of that. Let's go look at how I'm doing here. So you can see in HiveOS, this is a five card 3080 Ti rig and currently mining around 80 to 83 mega hash on Ethereum. Normally, these cards would be doing around 89, 90 mega hash on Ethereum if I wasn't dual mining, just to give you some uh, perspective on that. We'll go into some numbers and stats and profitability in a little bit. And you can see I'm mining secondarily Alephium here coming in. We'll just say on average around 500 mega hash um, on that cryptocurrency. I'm using the same exact overclocks that I would be using if I was just mining Ethereum only, in case you're wondering. So over in the shell, you can see the same performance I was just talking about. And what you can see is we got Ethereum being mined up here. Oh, we got Ethereum being mined right here. And then we have Alephium being mined down on the bottom here. And you can see the LHR locks I'm currently at 67.5 and 68. This one's even 68.5. That's pretty much where they hover around. I've been mining here for about 30 minutes. So let's talk about profitability. Um, over on what to mine. Right now, I just have entered in what these cards are doing on ethereum and i have the wattage estimate that that rig is pulling because remember the lhr cards when they mine um in this fashion the the wattage spikes quite a bit so software is not super accurate so I, I put my best estimate right now of what wattage they're pulling um 408 mega hash and that gives me 1337 in profit a day in usd now if i take out Dual mining and just mine Ethereum alone, I get a little more mega hash, right? 448 mega hash, which gives me a $15 profit. So the question was, am I going to be more profitable dual mining right now as it stands with current prices, or is it not worth it? So prices are going to change, all that's going to change, but here's at least my thought process of how I look at these things so you guys can make the same decisions for yourself. So over on Hero Miners, they have a profit calculator, and I put in the... 2.5 giga hash that I'm currently mining on Alephium, which is 2,500 mega hash. And that's telling me I'm going to make around $3.81 a day. Remember, I don't have to take out electricity here because I already took out all the electrical uh, and wattage that they're pulling when I did my Ethereum calculation. So I can consider this just profit. So now what I need to do is put together a couple numbers and see if this is going to be worth it for me. So I went over to spreadsheet here put in some numbers, some averages over time. So again, if I'm doing just Ethereum only, I'm $15 in profit. If I dual mining, then I'm doing $13.37 in Ethereum. And then as I'm making this video, I'm doing $3.94 in Alephium, which gives me a total of those together of $17.31 in profit. So at least of right now, from my calculations, from the averages that I'm hitting, I'm making an additional $2.31 in profit dual mining with Alephium than if I just mined Ethereum alone. So the next question is, 
that's great, Mike. But like Ethereum, I can sell that. I can what that's on exchanges, really popular. What's this Elafium all about? Honestly, I have I have no idea anything about Elafium. I have not looked into the projects at all. You guys can certainly do that and let me know. Um, it's a heavy spec mine at this point, but I was curious on what exchanges it was listed on, where these prices even coming from. And whatever coin market cap, it's at least one of the places I trust the most over the years to let me know some data. Uh, and you can see Lathium Alf listed here. And the only exchange that they have listed is Gate.io, which is an exchange that's been around for a while. Um, so yeah. And so right now it's listed on there. You can see the volume for the day and all that. Those are like the things I look at to like, is this legit? Is there volume here? Is there liquidity on this coin if I wanted to trade it? You can look at all of that here. It's paired with uh, Tether. Um, and that's it. That's everything that I found. So, you know, up to you guys if this is something that you want to do. But what I really wanted to do in this video is just walk you through how I look at these things, um, some of the things I'm thinking about, obviously letting you guys know that this is even a thing that exists. Uh, and all these numbers are going to change over time with volatility and, and all that. So that's at least what I'm looking at right now. Wanted to get that info out to all of you to see if it was helpful, but hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.